What's going on, socialites? Welcome back to another Global Pokemon Society Draft League battle. It's week eight, the final week of the season five regular season. And this is a huge match in the final week. The winner of this match between the Tokyo Togekiss and the Denver Ninetales will not only win the Western Division, but get the coveted number three seed in the playoffs. Denver currently 4 and 3, Tokyo sitting at 5 and 2, but if Denver beats them, they move up to 5 and 3, they'll have more differential points. They will get that number 3 seed. Let's see what the teams are bringing here. Tokyo who started off 5 and 0 oh this season has lost two in a row bringing Rayquaza, Excadrill, Tapu Bulu, Klefki, Sandaconda and Sceptile. We haven't seen Tapu Bulu and Sceptile in quite a while, and I don't think Klefki's ever come to a match this season, so that'll be interesting. And Denver going with a pretty standard team here. Calyrex Ice Rider, Pelipper, Clefable, Gastrodon, Kingdra, and Gudra, the double draws. Just moving my stuff around here. Let's see what the leads are here. Ooh, Klefki in its first match all season makes an early appearance. And Calyrex Ice Rider comes out. Surprisingly, the KO leader here in the season for the GPS. What do you think? Were you expecting Calyrex to be the KO leader for the entire season? Well, Klefki go. goes for the Flash Cannon. Klefki usually more of a support Pokemon, but it does big damage. That's a critical hit. That could be huge. Calyrex does get the Trick Room up, however. Now, will Tokyo make a switch out? Will they be expecting the high horsepower? I'm not sure. Could be a Focus Sash Klefki, maybe to get up several layers of spikes. Goes for the Protect, scouting out what the opponent has. All right, now that they've revealed the high horsepower, does Tokyo want to make a switch into either Sceptile or into Rayquaza here? It is a dangerous game, but you do need to stall out this Trick Room or Calyrex is going to get a couple KOs. Tokyo deciding what they want to do. Could be important as well to try and get the spikes up here. Klefki tries to go for the double protect, but it does fail. And Calyrex does connect with the high horsepower and it knocks out Klefki. So another knockout for Calyrex. Now there's really no ice resist. Calyrex is going to go really hard with these glacial lances. And other than Excadrill, maybe Rayquaza could probably knock it out with a Dragon Ascent at this point. Sandaconda comes out. Interesting to bring Sandaconda out in this position. Now, did Tokyo really prepare for the Trick Room? And do they have Protect on a couple of their Pokemon? No Protect comes out from Sandaconda. This Glacial Lance should be enough to KO with the plus one attack boost. Yes, and we do see it is enough, so Sandaconda does spit in the face of Calyrex as it goes down. But that sand won't stay up for long, and Excadrill is going to want that in the late game. It's 
just so difficult in this position. You see all the ice weaknesses that Tokyo brought here. So Calyrex able to get up a Trick Room. It's going to just give it several KOs for free. Now Tapu Bulu comes out. We haven't seen Tapu Bulu in several weeks from Tokyo. Grassy Surge. Calyrex won't mind that getting a little bit of residual healing here. The Trick Room is still up. Calyrex with the Glacial Lance, 130 base power, 100% accuracy, plus 2 attack thanks to the Chilling Nay. Takes out the legendary Guardian of the Islands, Tapu Bulu. And that moves Calyrex up to plus 3. But now we do see the Truck Room is ending. This could be the spot for Excadrill to come in. Excadrill really does just invite in, like, Pelipper here, though. I have to see if that's what Denver goes for. Oh, no, looks like they're going to be going into Gastrodon. Gastrodon's still a pretty solid switch in. Excadrill with the Iron Head. Gastrodon takes it very nicely. We do see the Life Orb recoil on Excadrill. And thanks to the Grassy Surge recovery and the Leftovers, Gastrodon heals right back up. I was thinking about this while watching the match. I think I would have liked Ice Beam a little bit better here. Because you got to be expecting the switch out here. As Sceptile comes in, it's going to proc a Grassy Seed. That will give Sceptile a defense boost. And the Earth Power won't do too much. That's why I was saying if you had gone for Ice Beam, you might have done about 50% or so. And probably would have been enough to almost KO Rayquaza. But looks like Gastrodon's going to switch out here. Looks like Denver's going to try to sack off Calyrex. Energy Ball comes out. And Calyrex actually survives. Survives a grassy terrain boosted energy ball. And with the sand going, Calyrex will stay alive. Udra comes out now. And thanks to Sap Sipper, the energy ball doesn't do anything. Denver still with all six of their Pokemon. Sceptile goes for the Dragon Pulse. How much will this do against Gudra? Does about a third. And Gudra with the Sludge Wave. Does some good damage on Deceptile. Both these Pokemon continuing to reap the benefits of the grassy terrain. Looks like Terrain Extender was the item on Bulu. So we can probably expect another turn or two of the grassy terrain. And Exegirl comes in on this sludge wave, so that's not going to do anything. And 
Guja's gonna have to switch out here. This could be a good opportunity for Swords Dance. But it really seems with the uh, rain in the back, Tokyo really needs to hold on to Rayquaza here. Excadrill with the Earthquake, but with the grassy terrain, it just doesn't do a lot of damage to Gastrodon here. The grassy terrain does end though, so Excadrill could try to go for another one here. Another switch out from Excadrill. Again, this is why, again, I would prefer something like the Ice Beam being clicked a little bit more. But Scald comes out. How much will this do to Sceptile? Not a lot. Does it get the burn, though? No. Subtile does go for the Dragon Pulse. Expecting the switch in. But Gudra takes that very nicely. And this time looks like Gudra is thinking about the Fire Blast. It is enough for the Knockout. So now Tokyo is facing a 6v2, and Rayquaza has to come out here, it has to deal with Gudra. I guess from Fire Blast going off, you can expect it to be Choice Locked, but I don't think you could have expected that beforehand. Calyrex comes back out, looking to get the uh, Sacrifice play once again. Oh, but Rayquaza with the Dragon Dance. That could be huge. A plus one attack, plus one speed Rayquaza is going to be real scary for Denver. That's going to allow it to outspeed Gudra now with the Choice Scarf. Oh, Rayquaza with the Dragon Claw takes out Calyrex. Tokyo here perhaps could reverse this now. Rayquaza does very well against the weather teams taking away their boosts. Now it's all going to come down to this. Can Clefable survive a plus one dragon ascent? And it's, oh, it hangs on. It hangs on. Now with the Moonblast. Life Orb Moonblast. It does knock out Rayquaza. And with that, Denver has more than likely secured the win against Tokyo. That Rayquaza was definitely scary. I don't know if Clefable was calced specifically to survive a Dragon Dance, Dragon Ascent. Excadrill with the Earthquake. This time, no grassy terrain, so it does pretty good damage against Gastrodon. Can Gastrodon survive two of these, though? I don't think so. 
No, it does go down. So a little bit of a slip up there. Again, I think Pelipper would have been a real good switch in here against Excadrill. Um, unless they're running something like Rock Slide. And you got Earthquake, you got Iron Head. Usually Stealth Rocks. Swords Dance isn't too uncommon. Pelipper comes in. It's going to go for the U-turn. Let's see what Excadrill... Oh, Excadrill does have the Rock Slide. Can it get a critical hit? Oh, my goodness. Pelipper doing his best Clefable impression. Surviving with a sliver of health. Does go for the U-turn, though. And that's going to let Kingdra come into play. So you see, even with four Pokemon remaining, though, Denver's Pokemon were pretty worn out. You can see how scary Tokyo can be. And Kingdra, with the Surf, in the rain, is enough to take out Excadrill. And with that, Denver moves up to 5-3. and three. They are very healthy with their differential points. They are going to clinch the Western Division, and with that, the number three seed. Tokyo, however, will still get the number six seed, which will give them a bye in the playoffs. So congrats to Tokyo. Comment down below which team you're rooting for in the playoffs. And as always, stay classy, society.